Right then, so we're here at IAPA 2019, and I'm here with Claire Hain at the Great Coasters International booth. Um, great to meet you. Uh, now, of course, I'm a huge fan of GCI Rides, uh, and I just want to know a little bit about the history of the company, how it's evolved. So if you could just share that with the, the viewers, that'd be fantastic. Okay, well, 25 years ago this year, Great Coasters was formed by my ex-partner, Michael Boonley and I. Uh, Mike Woolley was with me up until 2000 when he retired uh, for those medical reasons and everything else. But uh, I wanted to keep it going and we have evolved unbelievably since then. Um, in 99 we developed the Millennium Flyers, which you can see over here is the Texas Stingray that's going to go on the new ride and he's going to be opening this coming spring down at SeaWorld in San Antonio. Since then also, we have also developed our mini Millenniums, which we put on a ride here in uh, Florida at the Legoland. Yes. And last year, we developed our new Class 5 train, which you guys were looking at earlier, the Infinity Flyers. And uh, they were proven this past April. They, we tried them out on the, on the ride. Everything is good. We made a couple of changes to aesthetics. And um, last night, at my uh, 25th anniversary party, I unveiled my first steel track. Wow. So, and the steel track came into play because I wanted to start doing inversions. That's why I have the classified train. Yes. And anything is difficult to be installing with wood. So I wanted to have something that I can put into our rides. If somebody asked for a corkscrew or whatever, I wanted to make sure I have it all. Now, steel track has not been proven yet. I feel very confident, but I'm going to prove it before I put it out in the market 100%. The planning of proving it will be this coming year. That's fantastic. Yes. It really is. Yes. Um, and thank you very much for sharing that story with us. Um, talking about the, the steel track and moving forward, I mean, we can see this wonderful model um, next to us here. So just to explain a little bit about that and well, exactly the, what we can see here. This model was developed for a park over in China. Um, that park everything went to the wayside. Yeah. They went to another uh, company, and at that time they wanted something even bigger, so I had to redesign the ride to make it look bigger. Um, last year I had a client who was coming here from the Middle East that was looking for something extraordinary, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna take that extraordinary ride, I'm gonna make a model out of it. That's why it's here. It was here last year also. Um, unfortunately, it's supposed to have a cover over top of it, but um, the company that puts our booths in, the ship that was delivering the booths broke down in Spain. So a lot of our stuff that was supposed to be here on this booth or at our booth is not here. So <laughs> We had to work with what we have. That's unfortunate. However, the booth still looks fantastic. Thank you. I mean, you've got this incredible model. You've got the trains that we can all see around. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about some of my favorite coasters from, uh, from Great Coasters International. Of course, being from the UK, last year you installed Wickerman at Olsen Towers. Um, a completely brand new ride for us in the UK. It has gone down phenomenal at Olden Towers. That park has wanted a wooden roller coaster for so long, and a lot of the enthusiasts have wanted one for there so long. So, um, could you talk a little bit about Wicker Man and how it's all sort of come together? Wicker Man was a long time coming, uh, back and forth, different style designs and everything else. It was it was um, it was a dream come true finally when we finally agreed to one concept that we were going to go with, and great people to work with. Um, yeah, we had to deal with the weather a little bit, but. <laughs> it's nothing like we deal with anywhere else. Great, great ride. It, it was a great location for it. Using the terrain that's there. Wonderful ride. Uh, the theming they, they added with it, with the Wicker Man and, and everything in the station, the transfer. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. I don't know if you know it or not, but Wicker Man is probably the number one ride in China. Wow. It is unbelievable. Everybody talks about the Wicker Man. Everybody, really? everybody I talk to, can you do this right? Yeah. They show me on their phone. Can you do this right? <laughs> yes, I can do that right. 
But what, what about the wicker, man? I said, I don't know about that. I, I might do it. But everybody loves that ride in China. That's fascinating to me. I, I it is know that. Uh, it makes me quite proud being uh, having it so close to us. Yes. I've been a huge fan of GCI for a very long time, riding coasters like Woden at Europa Park, a beautiful coaster uh, that looks amazing and rides even better uh, with the tunnel, the station yes. fly through being yes. another one of my favorite elements. Yes. Um, and, and Troy at, at Toverland, right. another spectacular ride. Um, the, the length of Troy yes. um, is wonderful. I mean, with, with those two coasters, uh, would you say that the GCI coasters are still built of a similar style as to some of the, the older coasters you guys have built? Sure, or, absolutely. Uh, have many things changed in the, the we, process? Yes, things have changed on the way we've developed our rides from the beginning to what they are now. We listen to the parks. We listen to the, the patrons. We want to hear what everybody wants. Yes, I know a lot of your, the coaster enthusiasts like to be moved around a little bit. I don't like it because I want to make sure the maintenance can take yeah. care of the ride. So we've taken all those things and we put them together. Now, when a maintenance person says, hey, we, we come up with this kind of issue, we immediately jump on it. We want to try to resolve those problems. We don't want to see no maintenance, unscheduled maintenance. Yeah. We change the rides almost every single year. Something different adds to the rides. And I guess that's feedback from the parks Absolutely. and maintenance teams. Yep. You guys take it all on yep. and put that together to yep. go back and improve designs yep. and, and, and newer coasters as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, good luck with all future projects. I Absolutely. hope you're very successful. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing where Great Coasters International goes in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for watching.